Crypto is down, people are a little bit nervous, but I see this as a massive opportunity because if you haven't managed to buy into any blue chips, now might be your chance and you can do it in a really affordable way as there are enough secondary collections from blue chips that are really becoming more and more affordable since the dust has settled. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through three top projects that I really believe you can get in on a good price on and that you might be able to maximize once big announcements are made. So let's dive right in. Okay, so let's get into this. And if you look at the first project that we're gonna highlight, uh, it is V Friends Series 2. Um, this is one of Gary V's projects uh, and we are really excited about this here at nifty world because i think um, and actually i'll be completely honest we sniped one uh, for the business as well because uh one of these little five 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 one uh, ones actually because we think that there's going to be a big big announcement at vcom that's going to include this into the ecosystem and it's at a really affordable price right now so v friends series two second generation uh, collection of the V Friends series, which was hugely, hugely popular, anticipated, sold at auction at Christie's for a phenomenal amount, and obviously has the backing and heritage of Gary V. Now, Gary V is going nowhere. Uh, he is going nowhere because he has really brought his whole community into NFTs. He's seen as the guru of NFTs as well. And so when Gary speaks, we all listen. And for anyone like me who has that FOMO of not being in on series one of V Friends, this I see as a massive opportunity to get in on. He also does loads of brand partnerships, brand deals. He's working with like whiskey brands and stuff like that. He has his own wine brand as well. There's going to be lots of extensions that I think will bring anyone within this ecosystem into IRL opportunities as well. So let's have a quick look at V Friends Series 2. The reason why I think this is a great snipe to get right now is it had the launch, it pumped, everyone was really excited about it, and it's done the thing that I think in terms of strategy is the thing I always look out for. It starts to settle and the price slowly comes down and down and down. So floor price 0.69 not everyone's uh, affordability I get that but it's certainly certainly cheaper than what you'd expect as well and the price has definitely come down let's have a quick look at the activity it's slightly flatlined here which is a good opportunity because like we say when there's going to be a big announcement we think it's going to pump right at that point so now is the time to get in on this now this is not seen as a secondary collection this is seen as getting you in on the V friends ecosystem in general. So maybe you don't have an original V Friends, but maybe this is your opportunity to feel part of this community. We certainly did. This is the, the one piece that is missing from the puzzle for, for Nifty World NFT. We never had any V Friends. And we were like, as soon as we had some liquidity, we were like, look, the price is great. Let's get in on this. And we were able to actually get one of those 5555, which is 0.40% rarity. I think we paid 0.89 for that. And then immediately it's jumped to 0.96 and then it goes to 1 ETH, 1.5, 2 ETH. So we managed to snipe a really good, relatively rare one for that as well. And just to give you guys some sort of uh, comparison here, the original V Friends. Now this hit a high of like 14 ETH at one point. And obviously when it was doing all the sales at Christie's and stuff, this is obviously getting a lot of attention. But what we're seeing here is you're still paying 8.695 at the floor to get in on the original V Friends. Now, obviously this gets you into VCon. So this was obviously a big pull, but for some of us global uh, NFT holders, uh, you know, it, as great as it is to get in on VCon, uh, I can't go to VCon, it's in Minneapolis. So as much as I'd love to, um, I just wanna be part of this ecosystem and you're part of essentially a blue chip because it's proved itself in the auction houses. So what we think the big opportunity is here is that at VCon, there is going to be some sort of announcement around V Friends Series 2. It makes sense in terms of the timeline. Launched in April, VCon in May, updates about that new collection are going to come out. There's going to be a game. There's going to be other things that are going to be associated with this. And when we see this announcement happen, mark my words, you will see this activity change. You will see another pump somewhere. So if you can get in even at floor at 0.69, this is a great opportunity for you. Right, the next one that I am going to suggest that you look very heavily into is World of Women Galaxy. This is seen as the blue chip of female 
driven NFT projects. It is the go-to. It is the one that has got the most hype around it. It is the one that has been here as one of the longest projects out there. And of course, again, the secondary collection, World of Women Galaxy, uh, allowed more people to get into the World of Women ecosystem. It had a Dutch auction, went really well. Loads of people were really excited about it. But once again, we can see it has settled on the open market. And this is what happens. This is what I'm always looking for. You've got that initial pump where it was going at about two and a half ETH. And then we see it come down and down and down. But if you bide your time and are patient, you'll see it come down even more. And here we can see it coming down to around about the, let me see, 0.747 average price. But actually, if you go back to the floor, you'll see it's 0.685. So this is a great opportunity once again to get in on a blue chip project. Um, a lot of people were missing out on World of Women. And, and I think the big difference about World of Women here is that this is one that really takes time. And this is one that I think hold it for a long time and then you'll see a pump and then you'll see the opportunities as more announcements be, are being made about this. Um, I'm going to jump straight to why I'm so bullish on World of Women. And it, it comes down to this. Um, Guy Siri has signed World of Women for representation alongside the BAYC. And this is major because we're not seeing much from Gaio Siri right now. And I think that's down to the fact that our next project we're going to talk about, which is the other side, he's been focusing a lot of his attention to the Board Ape Yacht Club because that was imminently doing something massive. Next step will be to look at World of Women and for you to, to really be part of, of something that I think is going to have a huge, huge next pump in the future. And when I say pump, I don't necessarily just mean it from a financial perspective. I mean exposure and hype and all that kind of stuff and a big announcement that's going to come in on this as well. The thing is with the World of Women Galaxy is that their roadmap and all of the opportunities that they're bringing you are huge. And, you know, it's gorgeous looking artwork as well. Um, Yam, the artist, has done a phenomenal job. It took a long time for us to kind of get to this point as well. And, you know, they're going to be releasing a lot more, as we can see here, on, um, on their membership. So we've got you know, there's going to be a big wow gala that might be at NFT NYC. We don't know. Uh, there's going to be uh, you obviously own the IP for this as part of the uh, the DAO as well. So if you want to be part of the DAO, you can do have a voting right, airdrops, merchandise, and metaverse. So huge, huge opportunities here. Um, things that you're going to be able to do and look at in the future is you know more on their roadmap, which is been released on their Twitter. It's something that I think a lot of people are keeping a very close eye on. And, you know, good things take time. And we look at World of Women, floor price, wow, down to 5.1. Now, this is even a great time if you had the liquidity to get in on World of Women. Um, I got in on World of Women of, at four and almost four days, four Ethereum and almost four days later, it doubled in value. So it's going to, you know, it's going to fluctuate. And we've got to be completely honest with ourselves. Crypto is down at the moment. You know, everything's a little bit down. We're in a little bit of a, a bear market time. But if you have the liquidity, this is the time for you to snipe something really, really good. So if you can afford a World of Women, fantastic. But if you can't, it is great to be part of uh, World of Women Galaxy. Now, I am going to very quickly caveat this because I have seen on Twitter a bit of FUD around World of Women. People looking and concentrating on the floor, not looking at the bigger, longer opportunity of World of Women. And... Um, you know, feeling that they're not part of much because they've got a wow G. It is going to take time and it is not going to progress if the community does not support the project. You know, this is, these are people who have built something very early doors in the NFT space who are learning to be a business and learning to deliver for its community. And I really think that the way that they will do this successfully is with the support of the community. So please, if you do decide to buy in on the wow G's, please make sure that you go in with the best of intentions as well. I think it's really, really important that, you know, in order for a project to survive, the community sentiment has to be high. And when you're gonna get into something like a blue chip, you know you're making a solid bet. It's just something that will have to take a little bit more time than most.
Oh, hello, you've just caught me on another NFT break. Well, whilst I've got you here, I just wanted to let you know that we're really pleased to say that we've partnered with the Tezos ecosystem for this video. Tezos is the blockchain that you can build, play and collect on, and its ecosystem is home to developers, creators and innovators from all around the world. It's also super environmentally friendly with an average energy footprint of just 17 global citizens. Now, knowing that, along with low gas fees and sustainability through innovation, you can rest assured that this is a green, clean blockchain. And don't just take my word for it. Some of the world's biggest brands are building their futures on Tezos, including Ubisoft, the New York Mets, Red Bull Racing, McLaren F1, and even Manchester United. So a huge thanks to the Tezos ecosystem for partnering with us on this video. And if you want to find out more about the Tezos blockchain, then make sure you check out all of the links in our description box below. But for now, let's get back to business. Okay, and the final project that I want to focus on today. Oh, it's a strange new world. Now, I obviously did a video like this one, which uh, talks all about um, the other side and what went wrong with the mint. Now, because the mint has settled, here's where you see the opportunity. So again, we're looking at a new metaverse brought to you by the Board 8 Yacht Club, okay? And uh, Yuga Labs, who are behind them. And people have suddenly begun getting excited again. After all the fuds and confusion around the mint, suddenly everyone's going, you know what? I am super bullish on this project. And people are buying up land left, right, and center. If you get a coda, which are the little little creatures, um, which you can probably see in this one here, you'll be able to um, you know, even maximize on the fact that that's a real rarity for this. Um, here are your little coders. Um, and people are getting so bullish on this that they are seeing the dip and the opportunity to buy even more land because the opportunity within a metaverse is absolutely huge. And when you have a $4 billion business like Yuga Labs uh, behind it, you know that they've got the, the finances and the resource to really make this something special. Now they do have to actually, I suppose, come back to us about the problems of, of the initial mint. But now it seems that everyone has kind of got over that and are moving on, that there is a hugely, huge amount of excited sentiment within the community again. And you can see why. I mean, look at the land mass here. I am so excited about this. My land is somewhere, I think around here and I'm you know, relatively close to the center and that was part of my claim as a MAYC. I got a couple of um, rare objects, I didn't get a coder, but it doesn't matter. I've got the excitement as to what's gonna happen with this. And actually, if we look at where the price point is for this as well, 3.35. And actually, lots of people are saying if you go on looks rare, you might be, even be able to find something that's a little bit more uh, well, rarer, something like this, um, that's actually being sold on there. So there's another marketplace that you guys might want to look at as well. But um, there's huge opportunity with this. Again, if we look at the activity, we've seen it settled again. And where we're at right now, with the ability to buy these particular uh, NFTs and these, uh, these particular pieces of land, is we're exactly the same place and price point that we were when the mint went mental. And now you can actually do it without all of that strain, hassle and panic that everyone found. Obviously you're most likely not gonna be paying a floor price for something with a coder, but at the same time, you've still got the massive opportunity to build and get even more parcels of land that you might be able to either flip as a secondary or you might be able to build on as another opportunity. Or if you claimed and you didn't get a very exciting piece of land, I know a lot of people were a little bit disappointed with this piece of land, um, you might be able to flip that and, and try and get something that's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so it is up to you guys. Uh, but this is again, another opportunity to get in onto the BAYC ecosystem. Everything else, you know, the Board 8 Yacht Club is still at 103 Ethereum, not very affordable. But if you want to get in on this and you have 3.38 uh, Ethereum available, get in on the ecosystem with this. You know, you can't go wrong with the Board 8 Yacht Club because again, like Gary V, these guys are here to stay. Gary V, the world of women, Board 8 Yacht Club, these guys are not going anywhere. And this is your chance, although a little bit of a stretch at 3.38 for a lot of people, I completely understand this. And none of this is financial advice. It's just an analysis of, you know, times in the cycle of NFTs of when is a good time to think and consider about buying. But here you can see with the other side land and the opportunity, 
you'll be able to get in on something that's a pretty solid play. Well, there we have it. A great few selection of opportunities for you guys to get in on those all important blue chip ecosystems. It might not be generation one, but the secondary generation of these collections is always a good play and a much more affordable one as well. As ever, this isn't financial advice, but I hope you find the analysis helpful and don't forget to do your due diligence. And remember, only spend what you're willing to lose. So please do go into the NFT space with caution. Now, if you need any more help, or maybe if you're a creator, and you're thinking to yourself, I need to know the best way and most cost-effective and sustainable way in order for me to mint, then why not check out this video? The Tezos ecosystem is a fantastic blockchain to allow you with lower gas fees and also a more sustainable way of minting to really help you experiment and become more creative within the NFT space. So go check it out and I'll see you next time.